Whether it's poisonous frogs in a rainforest or the blue-ringed octopus, if you see a brightly colored animal in an area where there doesn't seem like there should be one, it is best not to touch it. Many animals that are poisonous have bright colors to warn predators that they are not safe to eat. There's actually a name for this, aposematism. But why is that a thing in the first place? Camouflage is one of the most successful and widespread traits of animals trying not to get eaten. Aposematism is the exact opposite of that, but somehow it still works. Nowadays, animals know that bright colors mean poison, but they most likely did not know that when these first traits emerged. Before I get any further into this video, I want to say that I'm not a scientist, I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel, but I try to get my facts right. My sources will be in the description. So let's get back on track. According to a study published in a journal called Science, the colors on these poisonous creatures probably first appeared on less visible areas of the animal, such as the underbelly. When they were threatened by a predator, they would intentionally display these colors to warn the predator that they are not safe to eat. Eventually, most predators realized that these bright colors equal bad. Over time, the bright colors might have just spread all over their body once they actually started to ward off predators. This way, the animal does not have to put itself in a dangerous position, such as exposing its underbelly in order to keep the predators away. If you want to read about this for yourself, I put the sources in the description. Obviously, if this explanation is the case, a few frogs had to die in order for this to have worked, as the predators did not always know that the exposed and colorful underbelly meant danger. You do not have to subscribe, but that would be cool, I'm just saying, and I thank you for watching.